Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and this is my eye. So I said a couple of videos. Why not? I said a couple of videos ago that I had poked myself in the eye while I was doing yoga. And trust me, this looks good compared to where we've been. So you can see right in here, there's a ring of bruise where I gave myself a black eye by poking myself in the eye. My eyebrow is higher on this side than the other side and it's actually come down. It was like up here yesterday. This part has come down quite a bit, but it was enormous. Honestly, yesterday when I woke up, my eye looked like a baby's fist that had been curled up and it was just this little, like I was Popeye or something. I really jacked it up so bad. And I was hoping that I would not have to come on camera to show you this, but here we are. Okay, so now that we've gotten that I look hideous out of the way, and honestly, this is so much better. So much better. Thank God I didn't have nails on it. Speaking of nails, last time I was here, I didn't have any on. But now I do. Well, last time I was here, I was doing these nails. So check them out. This is the first time I've done one of those abstract rose designs. I am super pleased with that. I put a little glitter over it. I could not make that work on this finger. So because it's my non-dominant hand that I would be doing it with. So I just did a really... Uh, I don't know, I think considering it's with my left hand, a pretty decent marble. And then just some gems and embellishments and things. And so I'm just super thrilled with this set. It made me so happy. Got a few things on the thumbs as well. So there's the set. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the two things I really wanted to talk about today. There are two things. One, I was not, I, I had not even thought about talking about this, but I woke up this morning <clears throat> and hopped out. Actually, I woke up this afternoon. My sleep is all messed up because of this. I couldn't sleep very good the first night. Actually, I went to bed and slept a really big chunk and then woke up in the middle of the night. And that's when I made the video of me doing one of my nails. Um, and then that led to me sleeping another chunk and sleeping too late and yesterday I was so discombobulated and I didn't end up going to bed last night until like almost five in the morning because my daughter called me uh, when she got off work she is a DJ at one of the strip clubs in Las Vegas and she um she just she gets off work around nine o'clock and so she called me and her boyfriend had to, he's also a dj at another strip club and he had to work that night so after he left she called me back on um facebook messenger and we chatted for like six hours so i stayed up really late and then still got up today not late too much later than i normally would so i'm like oh, dragon butt I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but I got up this afternoon. That's how. I said morning and it wasn't morning. I got up this afternoon. And um, as I popped on my YouTube, I saw that Tati had uploaded another video. And I thought we had sort of just left this topic and that it was going to fizzle out and die out. But uh, Tati by I think trying to extinguish it a little may have actually thrown a little more fire on there uh, or gasoline on the fire rather. Um, but honestly, just briefly, my thoughts about it are, I think she regrets making the original video. I really do based on how upset she is in this current one and how much she's crying. I think she wishes that she had left it private and let everyone speculate why her and James are no longer friends. Um, and honestly, it would have been speculation for the drama channels from now until Kingdom Come, but she wouldn't have felt so dirty about it, I think. And I think that's how she feels because she started something that she didn't... 
Maybe she did mean to. I don't know. Because I don't, I don't understand how she can think that she can go on there and rant about this guy, this kid, whatever, um, for 45 minutes and not have some sort of an explosion. The things that she said could have been said in a letter and sent to him privately. And I think that's probably what she wishes that she had done at this point because... This has gotten really out of hand and it's really gotten super, super mean. And I even admit I, I was never mean about it, but I have enjoyed the drama of it. And so I have to call myself out and say, I'm a little bit ashamed of my behavior too. I have shared memes. I have laughed. I have poked fun and none of it from a hateful place. I don't hate James Charles. Um, I don't know him, but like I said in my last video, if you are being a predator and exhibiting predatory behavior, that has to stop. And if for some reason you feel a compulsion, that is a mental illness and you need help. It's called therapy. It's available. You have a lot of money. Go get some. Um... I think everyone has overreacted about this so fucking much. The people who have been hurt by James Charles, it's up to you to protect yourself, but also it's up to you to say you have exhibited this kind of behavior with me and you and call that person out. We don't we don't unless unless somebody is breaking laws and hurting people irreparably, we don't need to ruin people's lives. Okay? People still have to eat. They still have to have jobs. They still have to take care of themselves. Because as soon as you destroy somebody's career or their lives, then who has to take care of them? All of us have to take care of them. And I'm fine with taking care of the people who need to be taken care of. But not when we willy-nilly destroy people. Because then we are hurting them. And how does that make us better? It does not. So... I think this is, even if it gets crazier, I'm, this is my last video about this. Everyone, especially the drama channels who feed themselves by the misery of other people, that shit's got to stop. Y'all need to stop. And that's just my two cents on that. So now let's finish up the video with just a really quick, quick touch on something that's happening today that I am really upset about. I've been upset about it since I found out it was going to happen last year. And that's that the Big Bang Theory is coming to an end today. Today there are two episodes, so an hour long, uh, well, what, 45 minutes, 40 minutes of show. And then it's over. And this has been... Um, like in my top three consistently since it started. I love this show. I love every single character. I am gonna miss this show on a serious level and I know you can tell I'm trying not to cry. And it's awful that it's gonna happen today because when I cry, my eyes get messed up and this one's already messed up. So, oh, wow, I'm so upset that this is happening all at the same time. I'm just so upset this video. Um, I feel like I'm not right in this camera or something. That's that's a little better. Sorry that I was sort of like, I felt like the, a picture needs to open up over here. Um, sorry, my eye is a little itchy. <clears throat> so tonight, as an extra video, um, and part of the one of the 300, trust me, I need to get some numbers on this. this. We're not going to make it just a quickie. I'm going to come back and just not review a 12-year show, but reflect and remember and say goodbye to something. Something that has met, meant just so much to me. I have... When I'm going through hard things, what I like are things that are familiar and wholesome in a way, you know, just things that, that have, have 
burrow their way inside my heart. And so, this is one of the shows that I turn to when I'm just, you know, there's certain ones like Friends and um, How I Met Your Mother and The Big Bang Theory. Now, the show Blackish is one of those for me. I can just binge the shit out of that and just laugh and cry the whole time um there are so claws claws is one of those i have obsessively binged that show since there's two seasons more times than i care to admit and i'm about to do it again for the channel here so i those repetitive things even if i'm not super paying attention just having them there warming my heart those are sometimes the ways that I get through things and the Big Bang Theory is going to be very missed in my life not that they, I can't go back and stream it online and find it and watch it I can but it's not the same as knowing that you're still unfolding a story with characters that you love and tonight that story makes its last fold and I'm just so bittersweet about it. Also tonight, Project Runway. So tomorrow you'll have another video of that. <sighs> so enough of my belly aching and whining. I wanna send my love out to Tati and James Charles. I wanna send my love out to you. And if you find this channel, thank you so much for watching my videos and helping me grow my community. If you're already subscribed, you know I love you. Thank you for being here. And um, please be sure to hit all my buttons. You can ring my... Okay, I'm not going to do it. Bye. <laughs>